if I don't say I don't know, how am I going to know? Like if I don't ask the questions, how am I going to get the answers? Ambition is good, but ambition can sometimes be a little selfish. Right. And I think that it's important to make that distinction very early on if you can. What matters end of the day is people's acceptance. In a democracy, I think, uh, in, the, in the world's largest democracy, To date, at 24, you know, is it uh, too good too soon as a phenomena, you think? To me, I'm just doing. I have no idea of how well I'm doing um, and what that means for me and whether this is too good too soon or whether I'm going to burn out. I think that if I sit back and assess every step I take, then I'm going to be taking myself way too seriously. And I want to be remembered for the movies that I'm a part of and the characters that I play because that's the kind of impact movies had on me as a child. Just to echo what Alia was saying, if you find your passion, you jump straight into it. Right. And if you happen to be good at it, you get success. And if you have a, a very open-minded attitude towards life and also view failure as learnings as you move forward, especially at such a young age, I think uh, the universe will find a place for you in, in, in putting you in the right place. And I think right. that um, that quest to have an impact and a mission-driven attitude in life, I think, is very, very important because ambition is good, but ambition can sometimes be a little selfish. And I think that it's important to make that distinction very early on if you can. It's good to have plans. It's good to have short, medium and long-term goals and plans. But at the end of the day, I think uh, you'd rather be better off keeping them to yourself. All, all I'm going to say is we should continue to do our good work. As Alia said and as Kevin said, we should just follow our heart, do our thing. And Alia, in your field, there's always, I mean, I think that sometimes, you know, the, the entertainment media doesn't make it easy, you know, for you to kind of, you know, go beyond yourself. Um, at your age, I always wonder sometimes, you know, that how do you handle it and are you taking it head on at all? So I think definitely initially I was, I was very vulnerable and I was um, also very hungry to prove and make a point. I want to say with age, but I don't think I should say that since I'm 24. But maybe with experience, in the last two years, there just came a bit of a realization to me and that is the only constant in life is change. So today, I may be getting a lot of love, tomorrow I won't, maybe. So I can always talk about what I don't have and what I'm, you know, what I can do better. But instead of whining about how they're comparing me to people, I can just better it and I can just try to be the better version of myself. You're tweeting about how well you're doing in India Economic Summit, and then somebody tweets you back saying, dude, get the Hyderabad roads right. <laughs> so yes, I do know what you're saying, the seasonality of uh, uh, you know, people's affections, and ultimately they're the ones who decide, either the fate of the movie or the fate of a politician. There was one thumb rule that I followed from very early on, which is, at the end of the day, if there are 24 hours in a day, you're sleeping for probably seven, eight hours. Mm -hmm. right? and you have 16 waking hours. I think your life is directly proportional to where you deploy those 16 hours. Not only physically, but also mentally. Right. So you can choose, you have a choice. Right. So you can worry about the comparisons, you can worry about uh, what people think, but I think if you deploy that time effectively on solving big problems, the results will speak for itself. <laughs>